Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon. In this session, we are going to see covering index in SQL Server, why it is important and where it is required and how to apply the covering index on the table. So let's start. First of all, we will see the definition of covering index and syntax of covering index. Okay, so this is the syntax create index index name on table name and then where clause right means suppose we have to filter the patient data uh, by city id or uh, their employee data by the department id wise so that is the where clause right and includes so includes it contains the select list means uh, select list columns like suppose you are selecting the uh, select first name comma last name from employee where department ID is equal to 2. So department ID is equal to 2 means department is the where clause and select contains the two columns right means first name and last name. So that will become at here and uh, there is a one more thing a covering index is an index that contains all and the possibly more the columns you need for the query means it is whatever the required columns you have to mention in the select column right okay then and the definition what it says the biggest benefit of covering index is that when it contains all the fields required by the query it may greatly improve the query performance and best results are often achieved by the placing the fields required in the filter or join criteria means there is a when we are joining the two tables at that time there is a some columns based on that we are joining two tables right or uh, we are filtering the data based on the where clause right so yeah that into the index key means this is the index key right and then placing the fields required in the select list into the include part means this is the include part right of the covering index first of all we will go through the practical and then you can understand it easily so this is the database HIMS is the database and patient is the table correct it contains the number of columns when you make the alt f1 so you will get the complete list right means whatever the columns are available in the that particular patient table right so number of columns right 18 columns and right now i am selecting only three columns but yeah there are the three columns right and my worry is that means like suppose uh, from application side we are continuously executing this first name middle name last name from patient where patient id is equal to this this or uh, city id is equal to that right so that is the query coming from the application side and suppose i am executing it and i make the profile uh, sorry i make the um, query execution plan is on and then execute the query okay so it's execution in a process yeah 238000 records are coming and if you see the execution plan what it says yeah clustered index scan and uh, right there is a cost is a 97 percentage right Then next thing is that if you see there is a missing index right create non clustered index and name of the index and on patient table and city id is the key column right means on which we have to create the index right but it includes the three columns right missing index details so it gives us the hints means uh, yeah you if you create this uh, index then obviously we will get the data from the table very quickly so i am just giving is the name as a ix underscore first of all i am creating the index and then i will show you the uh, what are the benefits of it okay so on the basis of city id we are filtering the data first of all i have to mention the table name means ix underscore table name and then on city id and then you can mention the a name as well okay so index is created now correct 
and then again going i am going to execute the same query i am going to execute the same query in the another block yeah and one more thing here if you see there are means top 5 there is a 11 lakh 90000 records are scanned during this operation correct and after that you got 2 lakh 38 records okay and here i have to execute the same query again in another window because we created the index right so let's see yeah there is a 2 lakh 38 thousand records are we are getting right and if you see the execution plan of it then yeah there is a index seek is happened and we previously in the previous sessions means uh, we seen what is index in what is index scan right so it is, here is the cost is a 100 percent and only one operation is done and indexing which is the very better option right now correct and if you see there is a top six row there is a number of rows to be read there is a two lakh thirty eight thousand not the eleven lakh so we drastically performance is improved correct so if we compare the result between two so here is the estimated IO cost is like this 34 percentage right and here is the only 2.5 percentage and number of rows to be read right 11 lakh something right 11 lakh 90 thousand and here is the only 2 lakh 38 thousand and next biggest difference is here there is a uh, estimated number of rows to be read right so yeah and that's one and there is a number of executions 10 and here is the only one so this is the means we can improve the performance with the help of covering index let's say there is an example means in above example we are filtering the data by the city id right and is means in there is another case like a, we have to filter the data by patient id wise so uh, this is the key column key column it means we have to create the index on this column right so we are uh, calling it as a key column right and these are the select column list means here we are mentioning only those columns those are required means we are uh, having a requirement means from application side continuously we are getting like a uh, miss they are selecting the data from uh, patient table first name middle name and last name where city id is equal to this this right so in that case you can create that index right and the what is the benefit means there is a key lookup operation will be means uh, we can avoid that means there is a row id lookup or a key id lookup right uh, row id lookup it means in in terms of the non clustered index so there is a one minute yeah non clustered okay there is a uh, row id lookup will ha happen you can uh, see the my previous uh, videos so that you will get the what is the key id lookup or a row id lookup and in cluster in case of clustered index suppose that particular table having the clustered index so it will go back to the clustered i uh, cluster index find the data and then we will get the that data right so uh, here there is a key id lookup will happen key so and when we create there is a covering index so it won't get back to that particular location or key id it contains actual data means city id and the in background structure look like as a city id first name middle name last name right so if you um, go to the miss suppose let's say city id is equal to four right and i am assuming there is a only one row in the particular table right city id is equal to one or we can say patient id is equal to four that's also a uh, different example and then first name is equal to abc uh, then middle name is equal to pqr and then last name is equal to element right so that particular record contain this data correct and this is saved in the background means that index contain that data so it go back it won't go back to the previous things means there is a yeah if you are filtering the data means fetching the data select star from uh, sorry select first name middle name last name from the patient where city id is equal to four so it directly go to that particular index and it will ha it having the all the data right so don't note don't go to the other any lookups that one more point i have to say 
suppose you your table having the only four columns means patient is the table and it having four columns right and it already having the uh, primary key and there is a one message or a pop-up you will get means like uh, means create the non clustered index on first name middle name last name and with particular uh, patient id is equal to four means key column is the patient id and these are the some select list columns so uh, Miss, you can take the another example. Miss, suppose let's say there is a um, ten columns, and uh, it will give you the suggestion like uh, you can uh, create the one index and select list contain nine columns or eight columns. So that is not the good choice because that particular uh, primary key or that particular main in, uh, miss um, clustered index contains that data, right? So no need to create the another index. So it will occupy the space as well, right? So best way. Means suppose let's say there are uh, uh, 20 to 30 columns and it will give you the suggestion like the on patient ID and this is the continuously uh, we are retrieving the data. So in that case, yeah, this index is a completely fine, no problem. But there is a let's say 20 columns in the table and there is a in select list you will get the suggestion like means on 15 columns you have to consider in the select list. So that is not the good choice. So this is the one downside of the covering index. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please share it and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.